Hey, it's Tim here. Over the last week, Tableau Public is starting to get some of the features that were supposed to be released in 2021.1. The first most notable one is the search experience. So I don't know if you've ever used the Tableau Public search fields. It's actually been a bit of a pain to use and it's never really sort of yielded uh, valuable results in the past because it didn't really search things that made sense. So now that's been improved, we're gonna go ahead and try it out here on the very top right hand side. So if I go over here to the top right hand side, I'll just point an arrow to where I'm looking. You can see there's a little search icon on the top right hand side and if we just go ahead and click on it it takes us to the search field and what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for one of my own visits this is the sort of easiest way to do this so I'm just going to search uh, Donald Trump unfortunately yes I'm bringing this guy up again uh, Donald Trump uh, tweets uh, this was actually a makeover Monday for for, for, for a while and uh, if I just go ahead and search that you'll see that the search experience is actually now improved the first thing you get is you get a preview of the visualizations which is actually nice to see because it's a very visual place so you want to be able to see uh, this thing now the thing it does with the search is it actually looks at the titles uh, in a little bit more of a meaningful way so let's say there's a makeover Monday Monday and everyone names their uh, visualizations in a certain way, this is actually going to be able to, to sort of find it for you. Now, the other thing it does is it splits it into two formats. So you've got the visitors on the left and then you've got authors on the right. So when I go over to the authors, it's going to find everyone who's called Donald. So it's starting to work a little bit more like an actual uh, search engine where it's using the information to go and specifically find the thing you're interested in. So if you wanted to search, for example, myself, if I just search my my name here, you just want to find my profile, you maybe can't find it. It comes up with not just me, but also my brother who's over here. So he's also created a profile and it's basically using the surname and then it's also using my first name. And so the first option here on the left is the person who meets both of that criteria, the first name and the last name. The second one is the person that meets the second criteria. And then the third option and everything else is just everyone else called Tim essentially, okay? So that's a really cool, nice quality of life improvement. If you've ever tried to search for an author through the search icon, stand no chance but now this is really really nice now if i go back to the visitors tab and we just sort of scroll through this um you'll notice that it, you know it has lots of context so um when i've searched for tim nguena um now it will go through my visitors so if i go back to the visitors tab having searched for myself you'll see that it actually just lists my visualization so it's kind of interesting because um it's basically ordering these visits again in terms of the priority of the term that you searched so first it's finding everything that says Tim Nguena anywhere in the profile, and then it's going to other uh, parts of the profile and it's basically going on Tim. Uh, my brother hasn't published anything, so his is not sort of appearing in this list. And so you can sort of start to see how much smarter it is, okay? If I go back and I just search, um, let's say we want to find this particular viz. Um, let's say uh, the presidential race. Let's see if anyone else has ever done that on uh, Tableau. And um, yeah, there's actually quite a few people who've done it. Um, someone's actually uh, used my uh, design over here on the right hand side. Um, and essentially just um, what you can do sometimes is you can go in and do a web edit on a visualization and see how someone has created that. So this is actually a really good way of sort of seeing that uh, in earnest. So uh, if I keep scrolling down, you can see other people have sort of got titles um, that have that same thing. It was again, another makeover Monday and people were visualizing in lots of sort of interesting ways. And so um, it can of course find the one that I built here on the left. And again, it's doing that based on a bunch of other factors. I assume it's by views, uh, by likes and so on and so forth. Um, uh, it's sort of storing it in some way, although this one over here, 248,000, you'd argue is probably, um, you know, should, should be a little bit higher if that makes sense. So, um, it's kind of interesting how it arrives at this conclusion. I don't know if it's looking for the exact match of the titles, but it's starting to work a bit more like a search engine. It's actually reasonable to expect to find something that you want um, in here. So I'm hoping Tableau maybe share a little bit more about the way the algorithm works so that, you know, people can tell people, you know, uh, maybe if you start including hashtags in your visits, it's actually a reliable way of finding a group of visualizations. So if I was to, for example, search um, uh, make over Monday, I think what we'll find is a whole bunch of things that were titled Makeover Monday in the title, but you can see a lot of people use the hashtag. So if I was to go in here and use the hashtag and uh, hit enter, um, <laughs> I actually need to remove the space and then hit the search icon. 
Uh, I think it creates a space if I don't do that. So here you can see everything titled Makeover Monday in the title, which is a great way of actually just browsing the wealth of stuff that's come in. So if people start naming their thing in a structured way, uh, then you can start to see how this can really, really work. Even if you have Makeover Monday somewhere in the description, it's still gonna pull it up in this list, which is actually really, really nice. And you can find things that are sort of really interesting, really nicely designed items, some really, some things that would be just difficult to stumble across if you weren't already looking for it. So I think this is gonna help lots of people, um, you know, get their content out to more people because search has always been a big bugbear but imagine Makeover Monday's finished. You wanna go see all the Makeover Mondays, um, you'll be able to see that. I'd love to see the ability to sort this by recency. So I'd love you, I'd love to be able to uh, say, look, I only wanna see things created in the last week. So that I could go in, search Makeover Monday from the last week and see what people are making, if that makes sense. Or even be able to you know, sort the relevance by recency, popularity, views, all those kinds of things. I hope that's something that's in the works coming in the future. If not, let's get on the ideas page and add that in as a suggestion. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you that feature because I think Tableau Public is getting some love after a long, long while. Um, not sort of getting too much attention and uh, valuable attention. The other feature we're still waiting on is actually the ability to do web edit in Tableau Public. That was sort of slated for a release uh, when Tableau 21 dot uh, one came out but unfortunately that's been delayed a little bit by the looks of thing it was removed from the announcement page so it might be pushed back to a later release or it might just be released on its own uh, back uh, at some point in the next few months so let's look out for that thanks for watching um, if you've liked the video you know what to do uh, be sure to check out the tablet sim website i've got a whole playlist here on 2021.1 it's a really sort of good place to go look at it if you just hit that button on the home page it takes you straight to the playlist and you can see all the other videos on this i'm actually recording this in the past so when you go to this you'll see more videos than what's already here um, and yeah I've got about seven videos on, on the on the slate at the moment to edit so by the time you're seeing this this list will be much much more up to date and hopefully there's a bunch of other playlists here that you'll also find useful going back to Tableau functions level of detail calcs uh, and LODs and all that kind of stuff so thanks for watching um, and I'll catch you in the next video